Here's another example of using the table method. Let's say that we want to design a program to convert height measurements from feet and inches to centimeters. So again, we follow the design recipe. We're going to write down a data definition saying what the height is. And then we'll be able to proceed to step two. We write down the signature of the function. We write down the purpose of the function. And instead of writing down a header, we just pick the names of the inputs. There are two inputs, so I'm going to pick F for feet and I for inches. In step three, we need to make um, the examples. And again, I can type in those examples into a table, but it's really the same information as we had back when uh, we were typing in a program into Dr. Racket, but just now sort of laid out in a more neat way. Okay, so here are five examples. Now we are ready to write down attempts at getting the right result. The result we want is in the rightmost column, and the template in step four reminds us that we might want to come up with those results using the inputs F and I. So the template says, hey, I have two inputs F and I, you probably want to use them. Okay, so let's try. Well, how can we use F? If you look at how F is related to what we want, well, one thing is that zero feet seems to correspond to zero centimeters. That makes sense. So we might want to multiply that's the star, f by the number of centimeters in a foot, and that's 30, let's say, roughly. So that actually gets some of the examples right. It gets the first and the third and the fourth examples right. That's kind of promising, but we're missing on inches. So of course, if we're going to convert 0 feet and 1 inch into centimeters, the result shouldn't be 0, the result should be 2.5. So let's take care of the second input. We're going to multiply the inches by 2.5, which is kind of the uh, number of centimeters in an inch. Okay, so that gets us the first two examples correct. Okay, so now we can take the formulas that we have already built and build a bigger formula, right? We could combine the feet and the inches by adding them. So I'm going to put a, a third formula that's adding the feet converted into centimeters. And then also here adding in the inches converted to centimeters. And now we have all the test cases passing. OK. So now if we want to put that back into Dr. Racket, into our program, we could either take the formula that we just wrote, or we could go down to show combined program and get a complete program. It is a little bit too complete because we actually need to delete the intermediate attempts before we have a working program that only has the final, pro, uh, final formula.